we have made this window here where we got uh, our pygame in it, the screen, uh, we got this game loop. I've just, well, we had a little different code in the last video. We have this while loop that goes and calls a quit, called the quit uh, function here. I changed the name to init and I put this while loop into this function game loop. So nothing else. And so it works just like before. I put the four next for the four uh, event in pygame get pygame dot event dot get into the init function. And so it's just like before. And that's all. Okay. Now, now we want to uh, create something like the clock, like uh, a font and a font one and also a player player sprite so the clock will be um, the pygame.time.clock for the frame rate and we put the the frame rate here control with ticks at 60 frames per for second then the font will be here the pygame dot font dot sys font okay I just want to change the name to this to make it faster to render so fast uh, render uh, we want to make aria 24 and okay then we want to make the, the player out of a class so we want to define a class called sprite that inherit from a super class called sprite to sprite with the def dunder init method self and image let's initialize the super class super dot dunder init and then we wanted to create a self equal game dot image dot load image so player will be equal to sprite and we will give an image images slash player slash idle one dot png that is this sorry that is this image this image in into this folder into this other folder and this one either one so now I want to show the player And so show show time for the moment screen dot blip player at ten ten of coordinates.
Okay, here is our image. Okay, so here is our image on the screen, and this could be our player. So, Okay. Okay, so this is our player and we just find a way to put it on the screen. Now in the next video we want to see how to animate it to make it move, like he's breathing in an either position. See you next time.